What's up everybody, Sebastian here and this YouTube video what we're going to be talking about is how to become grateful in life again. Okay, so I'm gonna get you into gratefulness, grateful spirit and yeah, okay, so it seems like and nowadays people are constantly fucking complaining about their petty little problems and their petty life situation, okay? <laughs> like for example, a, a lot of people might be like, Oh, you know what? <laughs> I hate my fucking life. I wish I'd have a Lamborghini. I wish I'd have a five million dollar mansion. Uh, I wish I'd have a fucking 10 out of 10 girlfriend. Um, I wish I'd have a, a motorcycle. I wish I'd be famous. Um, I wish I'd have unlimited money in the world. I wish I could travel whenever the fuck I want. Okay? A lot of people out there they think Oh! My life situation is not great for Not all good I need all of these seven things And more, okay Whatever they want, okay To make me great for and, to, and once I achieve that All my problems in the world will be solved And everything will be fucking awesome, okay? But It's like, you are looking externally in the future, projecting the stuff you wish, not even realize what you already have. It's like when you really sit down and think about it. Realize, when you realize, oh, why are you projecting so many stuff? Oh, I wish I'd be in America, I wish I'd have that, I wish I'd have that, I wish I'd have that. How about, we have the stuff that you already have. Okay? And you'll be grateful to just take a step back here and just list 20 things you have. 20 things to wait for. I can list 20 things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful that I have on the legs. I'm grateful that I'm alive. I'm grateful that I, I was born on this planet. I'm grateful I have a camera to film. I'm grateful I have a roof over my head. I'm grateful I have money. I'm grateful I have my parents. I'm grateful that you're listening to me right now. I'm grateful that I have very good friends. I'm grateful I've already traveled all around America. I'm grateful I went on the biggest roller coaster in the world. I'm grateful that I went three times to America. I'm grateful... that I can see. I'm grateful... to be myself. I'm grateful that... I'm thinking right now what I should say for this video. <laughs> I'm grateful that I have a bike. I'm grateful that I have a house at the beach. I'm grateful that I have a house in Switzerland. I'm grateful that my dad will pay my flight school. I'm grateful that I have the opportunity to become an airline pilot. You understand? Right now, I just listed 20 things I am grateful for. 20 fucking things. Okay, and it's very important to like just take a step back. 
and sit down and be like, wow, what do I actually have? And I bet right now, I just listed stuff that you wish you would have had. Like, I bet I mentioned stuff right now I'm grateful for that you wished you would have had. Which kind of might have triggered like envious nature. You might have been from your point of view, oh, so unfair, he has so much money, um, so many houses, he's been on the biggest walkers in the world, why are they killed to fin? Like, you must be, oh, I wish I have that, 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 you know. Which is a normal thing, okay? Like, they're the same, the grass is greener on the fucking on the side, okay? But, like, right now I don't want you to get too much carried away. Okay, like, don't be too envious, okay? Kind of realize what you have, okay? Like, even me, I have all of this stuff. I'm also, like, sometimes, like, put, find myself projecting what I want from other people, but then I realize, okay, it's all illusion. Focus what I actually do have, you understand? So, to further this topic, if you are now saying, you know what, Sebastian, <laughs> how the fuck can I be grateful with my life situation? Like, how the hell can I even find stuff that I'm grateful for? Just, if you cannot find one thing you're grateful for, <laughs> you're messing up big time. Because it's so easy to find one thing you're grateful for. I can tell you one right now. Your life. What's to complain about? You were born, the chance of you being born is 1 in 400 trillion. What's the point of complaining just with that? You know? What's the point of complaining, you know? <laughs> so then, when you go, oh yeah, actually I should be good for them alive. Then you might be like saying, oh yeah, the people that don't have a house to live, they don't have a roof over my head, but I have a roof over my head. Oh, the second thing I'm waiting for. You know, they can might realize, oh, shit. Um... I still have my parents. The only people that don't have their parents anymore. You understand? Kind of like, think from the other people's point of view, realizing that they don't have everything that you have. And the people that wish they'd have what you have. Okay? Remember that. And remember you are not alone. Okay, like you the bigger picture. Instead of always being close minded in your own little world, you know. Think more like the bigger picture of how this whole society is. That we're all humans. When you think you're going to alone, you aren't going to alone. Seven billion other people are going to do it. You understand? So, you know, I, I hope this helped you out. One, Another, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends if you enjoyed, and peace out.